Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Welcome back to all of my returning subscribers. Um, you can also become a member of my channel, you guys. It's $2.99 per month. Just click that join button. I've got some brand new emojis that I just uploaded yesterday. So go check them out. Please, please, please. And use them. All right, you guys. So I was kind of thinking to myself here, um, like, what does your person want with you? And, you know, or what, what could someone possibly want with you if you have a relationship that you are dealing with or something along those lines i want to take a look at that and and see what shows up here now what's showing up so far is photograph somebody's looking at your photos missing you um falling in love with you uh, there looks like there's some kind of possible breakup or separation um that may have happened and I feel like someone is missing you right now okay um, they want your love they want to love you that kind of energy so let's take a look and see so if, I, it feels like if you're in a, a breakup situation with someone this person is having um, memories they're thinking about you they really it feels like they really miss you they're looking at pictures of you <laughs> I'm just hearing that um, Cure song pictures of you I think it's called I don't remember the words I can't even remember the harm the melody but um, yeah let's see here let's get into this and see what's going on who is this person what are they miss like why are they missing you what's going on why was there some let's take a look at the breakup here okay hmm. You weren't sure about the love that they offered. Perhaps you ended something with them or they were making moves on somebody else. Perhaps you saw something. Let me see the photograph here. Okay. Oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups. Um, man, this person looks like they want a happily ever after. Oh, okay. Maybe you're dealing with another Virgo or Taurus or uh, Capricorn. So gosh Virgo what does this person like it feels like they want like the ten of cups they want this happily ever after something ended here maybe you weren't too sure about them or you're not you know not too sure if the the, the love that they've offered or that they offer is real um you maybe are in separation and haven't ended have not ended something with this person yet you might be thinking about doing that Gosh, <clears throat> there's a lot of spontaneity attached to this person, right? It feels like they want to take some kind of a risk, but let's see what happened. Why was there this breakup? Or the, why is why are the you and this person in separation right now? Hmm. I don't know. Were you impatient about a relationship moving forward? Are you, are you, it's taking too long? Like this, this magic? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, something, something is revealed. Something gets revealed to you out in the open. I don't know if you have doubts, but something shows me here that you might be rethinking a relationship with someone. Now we do have Leo. We also have Aquarius and Gemini. So it looks like to me, as you are trying to sort some stuff out here about a particular relationship, whether to move on or give someone another chance, this person is, they're, they can't stop thinking about you. There you go. Fantasy here. Did you ghost somebody or something might have happened? This person is all up in their, their their dreams, having dreams about you, thinking about you. And they want, I feel like they want to take some kind of a risk to come towards you. Yeah. Put the past, let's, can we put the past behind us and just try to start over is what I feel like is, yeah, making those plans. Ready to, st oh gosh. So I feel like this person feels like you're on your way out the door. 
They feel like they can feel your energy, your person can feel your energy of that you're not too sure um, about this connection, about this relationship. Something feels maybe a little off for you and you're kind of checking to see like what the heck is going on. And in the meantime, they sense this. They sense that you are pulling away. They feel your energy is pulling away. I feel like they're trying to manifest you even by looking at your photos or thinking about you like here. So, yeah, okay. So, I don't know, Virgo. I feel like you're kind of like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know what to think. I'm not too sure. Something is revealed to you about this person in April. And all the while, you might not be talking or communicating too much with this person and they're sensing that you're pulling away or you're going to cut them off if you haven't already. Okay. So here they are like, oh shit, <laughs> this is a problem. This is, this is a little bit of a problem. So are they going to reach out? Are they going to talk to you? Are they going to try to get to the bottom of things here? Hmm. Yeah, I do feel like they are, okay? Um, they got some stuff on their plate right now that they're trying to work through or sort through. Maybe it could be a work thing or whatever. They're, they're focused on something else. And I feel like... Hmm, they just, they just told me flirting at work. Yeah, they're going to come in though. They want a reunion with you. Um, this is something to do with a lifestyle change. So I do feel like the, they are going to make some change in their life. They and, and, and I just heard, they know that you know. They don't know how you know. They don't know what you know. But they know that you know something. And that is so indicative of Virgo being a little bit of a spy. <laughs> like Virgos, if there's anyone to be... The best job for a Virgo, I would say, is investigator because Virgo pays attention to the details, you know, um, but is also very intuitive. This person, I don't know what exactly is going on, what you might be seeing or what you might be looking at, but whatever it is, somehow this person, they might be very intuitive themselves, but somehow they're aware. They know that you know. And even with the Knight of Swords, I feel like they're going to come in pretty fast in April to try to either say they're not doing something or they're not doing that anymore. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, I feel like they know that they know and they're going to try to, re they know that you know and they're going to try to recover. They don't want you to cut them off. Are they going to confess something here? Let's see. Because I don't see you really calling anybody out on anything. Oh, yeah. There you go. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, the truth. They're going to tell you the truth. They're going to bring the truth. Open up and like whatever these obstacles, whatever. See how he's coming in with this that sword there? Whatever the trouble, whatever you suspect or they think that you know, they're going to come right out with it and tell you. Like confession I mean it's it's openly admit something here and where does that take you guys <clears throat> hmm yeah they're gonna try I feel like try to get you to see something from their perspective or from a different point of view try to bring some understanding and perspective um, they definitely want to talk to you yeah I feel like this person feels like they're on their last leg here so are they gonna come in with that bloody stump <laughs> yeah definitely and hey if you remember there's a bloody stump emoji go ahead and click that put it in the chat they're gonna come in with that bloody stump if you're new in my channel and you don't know what that means everyone in the chat will tell you because look this hanged man it's almost like he only has half a leg yeah 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 virgo all right king of swords this could be an uh air sign that you're also 
dealing with. But this King of Swords is very strategic and open. Very truthful. Just right to the point. Gets right to the point. Says what needs to be said. So I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of get a sense this is your energy, masculine or feminine. And you're seeing something in April. But, you know, you're quiet. Look at the mouth is closed. Got a little bunny rabbit down there, just hip hopping along. Not saying anything. But you see something. And they know. They know. They know that you see something or that you, you something's going on. This reading is eerie as F. Yep, there's my bloody stump, right? That's, look, busted up leg there. This person is very codependent, very. They might do things to try to get your goat, uh, throw some bait out to try to get you to react, but I don't see you reacting. I see you're kind of like, mm-hmm, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to quietly change my plan here, get my game plan together. But they're aware because you're not reacting you're too quiet you're a bit too quiet virgo and then they're thinking that's suspicious so they're going to come right out and now they're going to react they're the ones who are going to react to their own bait which is going to tell you everything you need to know so your advice here is uh, you know and i always advise like if somebody's pulling some shady crap call them on it but something about what you're seeing, you may not be able to fully verify, and that might be the reason why you're not seeing anything, but you know, guilty consciences are gonna reveal themselves. This person is gonna come forward with that like feeling guilt about something and not, and not being too sure um, of what information you have. So, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, it's drama. There's so much drama. I don't know, Virgos are, Virgos are kind of like, you know, they, they do, uh, most Virgos do remind me of the high priestess. You know, very highly intuitive. Virgos are the earth, they sense things. It's not emotional, you know? Virgos, earth signs are all about the senses, you know? Like, when there's an earthquake, Virgo can sense when something's coming before it happens. And when there's an earthquake, Virgo feels that vibration. Virgo's all up in the vibes, the vibrations. Virgos have like um, this intuitive radar that they can sense things. You know, they're not the most like emotional feel, physically active. Um, uh, Yes, they do tend to um, overanalyze or just analyze things. Um, even with the sword, they're very truthful. But the, the, the biggest symbol of Virgo is their senses. And I feel like you kind of sitting back, not really saying anything, is what's going to give this person a little bit of pause to say, oh, uh oh. I think I might be, you know, like when you do something wrong and then, you know, when you were in school and you did something wrong and um, you get word that the principal is going to call you down to the office, but you don't know what they know, but you kind of are like, oh, shoot, you, you know, you, you get that high, like, like, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that I do feel like this is going on and I feel like part of this you know, maybe you, maybe you see a photograph of, of your person kissing somebody. Something might be off, you know? Um, but I feel like this person, they don't want to lose you. I don't know if they've done anything wrong or not. I, I'm not saying that. I just feel like you're picking something up and you're kind of rethinking something about this connection with this particular person. And you can't quite pin it or verify anything but you know it this is going to cause this person to come forward and and say um like bring it up talk about it or something i don't know virgo <laughs> oh my gosh i almost want to walk away from this reading because this is like one of them ufo videos you know what i mean it's like okay is that real or not like oh it it feels real but i'm not sure i can't verify yeah okay all right. All right. 
let's let's move forward into this because this is craziness this is like absolute craziness what else do you have here yeah i was just thinking you know like um i, I don't know they're giving me this analogy like when you're a kid you know you and you you break the lamp and your parent calls you out on this thing that happened, even if it was an accident or wasn't intentional, but whatever, you're still going to get, you know, some punishment or something. But when the parent says, did you break the lamp? You're like, yes. Or you admit it after some point. And you want to know what your consequences are going to be. But your parents like, well, you know what? Yes, you're in trouble, but I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do about that. So, you know, for now, go do what you got to do today. Uh, uh, I'm going to let you know. I need to think about the consequences. That's that feeling like, oh my gosh, and they delay it and they delay it and then you get more panicky about it. Like, okay, yeah, I'm in trouble, but I don't know what kind of trouble I'm in. And then you worry about it. Okay. Virgo's so good at like being tight-lipped. Okay. Oh, warning. Don't dismiss the red flag here. Virgo. You're getting a red flag warning in April. Now, it doesn't have to be like infidelity or anything like that, okay? It doesn't have to be. could be anything like, or, you know, a white lie or something. It doesn't have to be super serious, okay? So you'll find out as you go forward. You might already be like shaking your head. Yeah, I know what this is. But there's definitely like you're pick you're gonna pick up if you're not already picking up a red flag here. It could be a gigantic red flag or it could be a very tiny red flag. Okay. You've got the denial card. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So I feel like that's kind of what you're doing. Like, hmm, let me think. Now you also have second chance. This relationship deserves a, a second chance. So, you know, Virgo, I know there's some Virgos are out there like don't lie to me. Oh, I want the truth at all times, at all costs. I can handle it. You can't handle the truth. I can, oh, I can handle the truth. And sometimes people will tell you a white lie, you know. Sometimes white lies are just to save face. I don't know what your situation is here, but um, I feel like maybe it's good to hear what this person has to say. Because I feel like you might want to. If, if they're going to come forward and explain something, it doesn't mean you should give the relationship another chance it depends on what they come to confess but it may be give them a chance to explain themselves you know an, an opportunity to explain themselves so i feel like you might be detaching in april this keeps showing up this past life love card i feel like you might be detaching in april to try to let this person come forward and kind of like wonder a little bit like hmm what did I do wrong because I definitely feel like they don't want to like lose you I do I keep saying like 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 they don't want to lose you okay but here's the question does this situation align with your values and morals that might be something you're asking yourself is this right for me hmm you know Virgo's like I, I don't know if I got the full story here but something feels off And I can't put my finger on it quite entirely. Okay. You know, sometimes, Virgo, if you um, give people enough rope, they'll hang themselves with it. Giving people enough space, not really saying anything, uh, distancing yourself sometimes induces another person to be like, hey, what's going on? Mm. And then, it, you know, if, if they're that type of person that has a conscience at all, they might rethink like, oh, maybe Virgo heard this or saw that, you know, because um, when you, you come at somebody accusing without uh, something to back it up with, now that doesn't serve you in any way. You might be just in this gathering information mode in April. So go slow. Take time to get to know what's going on here. I feel like they're going to come forward though yeah yeah regret they're going to have regret for treating you a particular way or remorse for doing something or not doing something and without you really complaining about it or saying anything just kind of sitting on it for a minute 
they're, they're going to come with it. They're going to open up and they're going to come forward with it. And kind of like, they're not going to omit, they're going to admit something here. And then you could be like, yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so let's take a look and see what Chinese sign we got here. All right. You're dealing with either a year of the tiger, a year of the rat, a year of the rabbit, a year of the rooster, double rooster, a year of the goat. Why does the goat always follow the rooster? Did you guys notice that? I don't know if you've noticed that. It always. I'm going to have to double shuffle. All right, so we have year of the ox, year of the dog. Year of the horse. All right, so that could be you. It could be your person. Take it as it resonates. Is there anything else that Virgo needs to know? Ooh, this just fell out here. Transition. The end of suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new. Go with the flow. Change is coming. Okay. Change is coming. Go with the flow. All right, what else does Virgo need to know in regards to this situation? Okay, moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. This energy is showing up here in April. Something to do with a change of residence or moving in together. Oh, oh gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Honestly, someone's still figuring themselves out. Or for some of you, maybe you suspect that someone is um, not being honest with their about their sexuality but you can't pinpoint it that might be something that comes up hmm you know for somebody this is this could be somebody that you're just starting to date and you're you're getting a hunch or something you know virgos always get hunches something shows up here like whoa like even with the word transition here someone might be transitioning or thinking something so not for everybody but for some of you this is going to come up this might be what's happening not for all of you could be completely something else could have something to do with moving or you know relocating or moving in together what else what else does virgo need to know okay you've got challenges for sure in april make a decision work on inner healing all right so definitely a bit of a challenge April, I believe, is going to be a bit of a challenge because we do have the eclipse on the 8th, which I don't even know what today is. Today's the 26th, going into the 27th, so not next week, but two weeks from now, pretty much. We have a new moon, and it will be an eclipse. So there's big changes and challenges being predicted for April. Some big shifts here and I did mention earthquake remember I said that so I do feel like there's going to be a major earthquake in April I can't tell you where might be somewhere in um oh I can't tell you where no it's big though okay and you also have let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now okay so that's what we're talking about there is some new stuff starting here like some revelations some things being revealed to you this person whoever they are is going to reveal something to you which you kind of are like yeah i had a hunch i know okay let's see okay we've got vacations <laughs> v-a-e it's a vacation or a vacation but you will be traveling soon all right so you could be um doing some 3d traveling some 4D astral traveling, perhaps, or just maybe you're going on, going on vacation in April, taking some time out. And then you've got communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Hmm. It's definitely going to be some talks. Definitely going to be some communication with someone, you know, in regards to this situation. You guys are going to be talking. Okay. So I'm going to move on from that. <laughs> it's interesting because right when I was saying that, this, you got to move on. I feel like this is for me. Like, all right, move on, Cal. On to the next. 
is some crazy stuff. You know what? I want to take a look and I want to see what this person, like their hidden truth is towards you. My life is not together as it seems. Hmm. Trust your hunches, Virgo. Trust your hunches. You get a lot of downloads. Someone wants to be more than friends. Hmm. So for some of you, if this is just a friendship, uh, okay, if you have a same-sex friendship, but you're heterosexual, uh, you may come to find out, maybe you have a hunch that your friend is interested in you in more than just friends. That might be something that comes up that they kind of come to admit to you. If this is just a um, heterosexual friendship, um, this person wants to be more than that with you, okay? You might have a hunch about that, but they haven't said anything. Something comes, it comes, that part comes forward. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Oh boy. So, like I said, some of you may be deciding to end something here. This person be looking for you. Okay. Are there some kind of separation based on some hunch? You, you pulling your energy back. You're trying to figure some stuff out. They sense it. They know, you know, something they don't want you to, they want to come tell you the truth. They want to come forward and admit something to you. Oh, They think you might be upset with them or that you're, you're mad at them. They, they worry about that. They're trying to understand the connection. They're starting to understand this. Yeah. Listen, they're going to also understand that maybe they should have been up front with you before. Or if this is somebody new, you start dating and later on in the month, you know, there's something like, oh, I should have, I should have told Virgo. I should have said something. And I think Virgo knows, and I need to clear this up. I don't want Virgo to get the wrong idea. I want to be honest and truthful with Virgo. What else is coming forward? Okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune, so there's definitely going to be a change. And this is in your favor, Virgo. You've got the Star card as well, so this is a renewal. Some type of wish coming true for you, Virgo. Something that you wanted, related to family, wedding, engagement, parties, uh, some type of celebration or a union or coming home energy. And then they're spying online here. So that could be you looking and seeing some things or seeing something. It could be this person looking at your photos. All right. Still undecided. It's in the reverse. So no, no more indecision. There's a, there's something coming forward here that's going to come out. And it, there's going to be a, a pivotal shift here in some kind of relationship that you have with someone. It's going to change everything. I don't know whether that's for the better. I, I'm not really sure what direction that's going, but there's definitely going to be a shift and a change. Whatever your, So everybody, all of you are individual. You have your own things going on. Whatever your hunch is, right now you listen to this, that hunch is going to get confirmed. Whatever your particular hunch is. <clears throat> oh, jealousy. Watch who you trust with your person. Oh, my look, I should have did my nails. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors in nature to reconnect and replenish. Okay. So jealousy is showing up. Okay. And you also have communication. Here you go. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling a friendship. A lucky win seems likely. That's the Wheel of Fortune. So something definitely turning in your favor. <laughs> and you go, hey, surprise, guess what? <laughs> Some kind of disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. Hmm, Virgo. Yeah, this is, yeah, there's going to be a surprise. Oh, yeah. Some kind of hunch. You'll be surprised that this person is like, oh, they got to tell you. They want to tell you. Let's take a look and see. So for those of you, <laughs> I have to tell you, I love all these new emojis. And it, I'm probably, if I'm in the chat, I'm going to post some of the emojis as it comes. But for the, for the, for the 
the dates and the letters. I have a Scrabble. <laughs> I have Scrabble tile. So if you see that in there, post that in the chat. All right, August 23rd, 1967, 1975. The letter Z, the letter I, 1980, 53. Someone's 53. The letter F. Uh, I just heard the name Finn. Someone's name is Finn or Flynn. Could be a first name or a last name. All right, we've got the letter K. Someone's born in April. Someone's 33. 1960, September 8th. And the letter T. Initial T. All right. Ooh. Fu. Someone does Kung Fu. I just heard. September 18th, September 5th. Do we have an O? Or someone's got O's in their name. Um, the letter M. Moo. Somebody got a cow living on a farm. Uh, someone is 40. 1961. The letter A and the letter E. Faye. Okay. What else? What else? And we have someone is 38. We have the letter P. And someone is 28. Anyone else? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, we got the letter B. That just switched over to an F. 1983, someone's born in November. All right, let's get into some of your charms. And one more, a September birthday, September 7th. And let's see if we can figure out specifically or give confirmation on the zodiac sign you're dealing with here. Taurus, Sag, Capricorn, and Leo. One more. Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn again, and Gemini. And one more. Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn, and Sagittarius. So big Capricorn vibes happening here. All right, charm for Virgo. All right. Hello, kitty. So you got a kitty cat here, okay? Maybe your kitty is sitting with you. And there's the ax. Oh, geez, right there. That was the ax card, if you guys saw it when I started the video. Someone is about to get the ax, and they know it. And they're getting scared okay that this might something that they're they haven't revealed or that they're doing or that they've done there's a pat like Virgo's like no more of this they're gonna have to fess up they're gonna have to come clean and I'm not gonna chase that answer down just not gonna give my time and effort and energy unless this person comes clean Wow okay so there's the hanger. <laughs> you're leaving somebody hanging here right now, Virgo. Yeah, you're leaving it hanging. You're like, let me just leave this alone right now. Let them stew in something. Whatever it is. You know, maybe they just, I don't know. I, I, I can't, they're not really telling me specifically. But it's enough for Virgo to kind of pull their energy back and be like, all right, I got to get some clarity here. What, like, I have a hunch and... You're pulling your energy back because of that. That's what you're doing. Until you, until either you get confirmation or until they come forward and say something. Because it looks like you're not, you're not playing with this. You're not playing with like sneaky games or, or weird things. Virgo, listen, when Virgo gets a hunch about something, they're usually dead on. But Virgo is smart enough not to base everything on a hunch. Virgo will wait until confirmation is there to back up their hunch. Virgo, don't, Virgo doesn't play. Virgo is smart. Very, very, very intelligent. Very smart. All right. So that was your ego boost for the day. <laughs> I hope that that, you know, I don't even know what I hope. I hope that, well, I hope you come back. Maybe tomorrow will be a different message. Tomorrow we have Wednesday. It is March 27th. 
Wednesday evening I'll be back with another reading and then your weekend reading will be after that so yeah if you guys want to get a personal reading click the link below my link tree that will take you right to my link tree to my website to book a reading you can do a text reading or you can just do a phone call reading with me um yeah and please become a member of my channel if you can afford it 2.99 per month thank you for all the super chats oh and i forgot to say if you're still here let's see if we have any new members i gotta remember to do that first to welcome everybody but yeah um let's see anybody new let's see here so I may call your name again, Danielle Cranage, C-R-A-N-A-G-E. Hey, Persephone. Hey, Bella B. Yeah, and Orist Mihal. Yeah, so everybody here, I called you out your name out yesterday. So welcome back again. And uh, that's going to be it. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Thanks for being in the chat. Shout out to our super awesome mods, Melly, Jason, Steve-O, Steve B, and Persephone. They are amazing, amazing people. Thank you guys for being here. Also, Charity, when she pops in. Yeah, and I will see you guys all back here very soon. Take care. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.